Lake Vostok lies two and a half miles beneath the ice of Antarctica. It's been sealed off from the outside world completely for more than 14 million years. But now the Russians think they've drilled down into its icy waters. In the icy depths of Antarctica, Russian scientists have just found something incredible. This discovery is mysterious and hard to explain. And it even makes us question everything we knew about Antarctica. What are the secrets in Antarctica? And what did the Russians recently discover? Today, we will explore various findings in this frozen land and focus on the recent one by Russian scientists that terrifies the world. For over 200 years, Antarctica, a massive Iceland at the other end of the globe, has been a puzzle for explorers and scientists. And one of the major issues has been about who discovered it. Now, this has several answers depending on who you ask. If you ask a Russian, they probably would claim it was a Russian who did on the 27th of January, 1820. If you ask the Brits, they would probably lay their claim on it, even though records indicate they saw it three days earlier. If you ask an American, they might claim that since the first recorded human footprint on Antarctica was theirs, they should be accredited with the discovery. Now, we will get into all those stories soon, and even beyond the discovery tales, we will talk a lot more about the mysterious and strange things discovered in Antarctica in recent years. So now, into the discovery story. Back then, explorers were on a mission to find a massive southern continent called Terra Australis Incognita. And for those who do not speak Latin, what it means in English is unknown southern land. They thought it would balance the northern hemisphere, like a matching piece to the Arctic. Captain James Cook, a famous explorer, spent three years looking for it, but he eventually gave up and wrote about it like a dream that didn't come true. Some Cook's journey sparked the curiosity of other adventurers. They were also tempted to make money by hunting seals in the freezing waters. This set off a race, with explorers from Russia, England, and the United States all trying to be the first to reach Antarctica. Russia was quick to send someone south. Fabian von Bellingshausen went further than Cook and spotted solid ice, likely part of Antarctica. But he didn't know that a British naval officer named Edward Bransfield had seen the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula just three days earlier. Talk about bad timing, right? But here's the twist. Von Bellingshausen's discovery stayed hidden for many years because of a mistake in translating his journal. It turns out that John Davis, an American explorer and sealer, was the first person to set foot on Antarctic land in 1821. So in a way, they were all right and wrong, no matter who you choose. The race to find Antarctica didn't stop with just discovering it. It turned into a fierce competition to reach the South Pole. And that's where things got super intense. Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen got there first in 1911, but Robert Falcon Scott, a British explorer, got there too, only to face a tragic end. Scott and his team didn't make it back, and his expedition is still remembered as a heartbreaking failure. Antarctica is so full of secrets that it could give Area 51, the famous mysterious place, a run for its money. Beyond its freezing temperatures, empty landscapes, and tough conditions, Antarctica is very good at keeping its secrets. This place is enormous, more than one and a half times the size of the USA, with 99% of it hidden under ice. To put it into a better perspective, Antarctica holds 90% of all the ice on Earth. No wonder it's not a top vacation destination. Now, if you are anything like an average American, you would have probably wondered what is hidden beneath all that ice and in the wide expanse of the inhabitable land itself. Today is your lucky day, because we bring you some recent discoveries from Antarctica to begin our mysterious journey. In Antarctica, let's talk about a spooky place called Blood Falls. It's in a spot called the McMurdo Dry Valley. And honestly, this isn't for the faint of heart at all. This strange five-story high waterfall looks like blood gushing from an icy wound, and it's seriously creepy. Recently, scientists figured out why this strange thing happened. 
It all began with a super salty lake that got sealed off from the air because glaciers formed on top of it. The water from this lake got trapped way down, about 400 meters underground, and with time, it became super duper salty. We're talking three times saltier than ocean water. And guess what? It can't freeze. Yep, you heard that right. This water is so salty that it's like, cold? Nah, not for me. But it's not just the salt that caused the bloody waters. There's more to this spooky tale. This super salty water is also loaded with iron and in complete darkness without any air. Now, when this iron-packed water sneaks through a crack in the glacier and touches the open air, something crazy happens. The iron starts to rust, and the water turns a dark, creepy red. And just like that, we get the creepy sight of blood falls. Imagine taking a helicopter ride over the frozen land, or probably flying your drone over Antarctica and you begin to get closer and closer to the glacier and then see the blood-red waterfall pouring into the lake. It would be like you just stepped into a horror movie set, and it'll give you goosebumps. Next up, we've got a jaw-dropping discovery that could change how we see life's history on Earth. If you are to guess, you might not guess right anytime soon, so we'd just tell you. The discovery is a one-million-year-old DNA, Yes, you heard it right, and we're here to break down the amazing details for you. So, here's how they stumbled upon this remarkable treasure. These scientists were exploring the dry valleys in Antarctica, where they found a place without ice for a long time. They didn't stop there. They went deep down and collected some dirt samples from below the surface. And from those samples, they managed to pull out DNA that had been sitting there for over a million years. Take a second to wrap your head around that. A million years. What they learned from this ancient DNA is mind-blowing. The scientists uncovered proof that many tiny creatures, like bacteria and archaea, lived happily in this place over a million years ago. This discovery is like having a time machine to study how life has changed over all those years. Now here's the really exciting part. These super tiny living things managed to survive for millions of years in one of the harshest places on Earth makes us wonder. Could life be hanging out in places we never thought possible, like on other planets? It's a thrilling idea that could shake up our thoughts about the universe and where we fit into it. Let's talk about something truly amazing in Antarctica, the singing ice walls. These incredible wonders are also located in the Dry Valleys region of Antarctica, and they're unlike anything you've ever seen. So you know that in this coldest place on Earth, temperatures can drop incredibly low. But when the temperature drops, something magical happens. It's a natural dance where the wind, ice, and temperature combine to create something special. They create singing ice walls. Here's how it works. As the strong winds sweep the icy landscape, they make the ice vibrate. And you won't believe it, but it makes a very beautiful sound, like the walls themselves sing a captivating song. Scientists have been studying these singing ice walls for many years to understand how they work. They've discovered that the pitch of this natural music changes depending on how thick the ice is and how cold the air is. It's like a natural orchestra with ice walls that can play deep bass notes or higher, more melodic tunes. But here's the exciting part. These singing ice walls aren't just for scientists. They've also become a popular spot for adventurous travelers. Wouldn't you like to go on an epic journey through frozen valleys and face some of Earth's most extreme weather conditions? It's not an easy trip, but those who dare to go on, it get an experience they'll never forget. So, if you're looking for an extraordinary adventure, consider adding the singing ice walls to your list of places to visit. Another discovery in Antarctica is an enormous underground river stretching a mind-boggling 3,700 miles. Imagine a river so massive it could reach from New York City to Los Angeles. That's the scale we're talking about. How did scientists find this hidden wonder? 
they used advanced radar technology to peek beneath Antarctica's icy surface, revealing a river system concealed for millions of years. It's like discovering a secret world right under our feet. But what's truly remarkable is the river's potential to support life. This underground river is thought to be fed by melting glaciers and ice sheets, and it's not just a geological wonder. It could be a thriving habitat for all sorts of aquatic creatures. Imagine the diversity of life in this extreme environment. What makes it even more exciting is that this river system is believed to connect to the ocean. That means it might be teeming with nutrients, creating a unique ecosystem in one of the harshest places on Earth. It's a discovery that shakes our understanding of Antarctica and raises intriguing questions about undiscovered life forms. Next, let's dive into one of Antarctica's most incredible natural sites, the Weddell Polynya. This gigantic hole in the sea ice has puzzled scientists for many years, and we've only recently started to uncover its secrets. The Weddell Polynya is a massive opening that appears in the sea ice of the Weddell Sea region in Antarctica. It was first spotted back in the 1970s, and at the time, it was one of the largest holes in sea ice ever seen. This hole can be as big as 30,000 square miles, even larger than in some small countries. That's pretty huge. Scientists couldn't figure out why the Weddell Polynya formed for a long time. It seemed to go against what we knew about how sea ice normally works. But now, thanks to recent research, we're starting to understand it better. Scientists now think that a combination of things like wind patterns and the shape of the sea floor come together to create this open water area that can last for months. It's like nature's recipe for making a sea ice hole. But here's the interesting part. The Weddell Polynya isn't just a scientific mystery. It also has a big role to play in the Earth's climate. The open water in this hole releases heat and moisture into the air, affecting the weather worldwide. Plus, it's a really important home for many marine animals like penguins and seals. Today, we have the Gambertsev Mountain Range, one of Antarctica's secrets. These giants have been hiding under a massive 1,000 to 2,000 miles of ice, stretching over 750 miles and reaching heights of up to 10,000 feet. In 1958, Russian scientists were on an epic journey across Antarctica when they stumbled upon something amazing. They found a huge area of thin ice and some strange gravity changes, as if nature was hinting at a big discovery hiding below. You might be shocked that no one has seen the Gumbertsev Mountains themselves. Why? Well, imagine a giant ice blanket covering them. It's thicker than you can imagine. But scientists have cool tech to help them out. They use radar to figure out what the mountains look like and gather data about what's underneath. These mountains have been around for about a billion years, much longer than we can grasp. Normally, they should have worn down over time because that usually happens to things in nature. But not these mountains. The ice keeps them safe from wearing away and lets them stand tall for all these years. So, what is the terrifying truth about Antarctica that Russia just announced? In an astonishing feat that took more than two decades of perseverance, Russian scientists have finally reached the surface of a colossal freshwater lake hidden beneath miles of Antarctic ice. This frozen treasure, Lake Vostok, has been locked away for a mind-boggling 20 million years. And it could hold the keys to unlocking mysteries about ancient life and even shed light on the search for life beyond our planet. Let's get this straight. An underground lake isn't exactly mind-blowing news when we already know about an underground river. But what sets Lake Vostok apart is its sheer size. Picture this. It stretches over 160 miles, spans 30 miles wide, and plunges 2,500 feet into the depths. That's like having a hidden ocean right beneath our feet. And guess what? We didn't even know it existed until 1996. Now, here's where things get interesting. Lake Vostok isn't your typical body of water. It's chillingly cold, with temperatures hovering around, pa 3 de C. It's also incredibly isolated, with no sunlight or oxygen, 
and it's been sealed off from the outside world for millions of years. It's like a time capsule of our planet's past. Valery Lukin, the chairman of Russia's Arctic and Antarctic Research Institute, compared this achievement to the monumental moment Americans landed on the moon in 1969. And let's be honest, reaching the surface of Antarctica's largest of nearly 400 subglacial lakes is no walk in the park. It's taken more than two decades of intense drilling in some of the harshest conditions on Earth. But here's what makes it all worth it. The incredible discoveries made within Lake Vostok. Scientists have stumbled upon microorganisms unlike anything else on our planet, hinting at the possibility of undiscovered life forms. They've also uncovered evidence of ancient climates and geological changes that provide crucial insights into Earth's history. We've reached the end of today's video. Thank you for sticking with us until the end. It's incredible what scientists can accomplish when they put their minds to it. Let us know what you think in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to get more.